and then they bolt right into the back of these signals. You'll see the threaded port. Hey, bike all it's Ryan Urlacher here, lawbuddingbiker.com. Thanks for checking in. 2013 Street Glide um, is what we're working on today. In this video, we're gonna we're blocking this thing out, so we're gonna get rid of these brake lights and turn signals stock. And this is actually what we're using, and they're called, this is a Harley part number. It's a bullet rear light bar gloss black. Links will be in the description below. And uh, this is what they look like. So, unit just like this. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these installed, so let's get wrenching, huh? All right, and so up underneath here, guys, um, obviously we have a rear wheel removal video, lawbuddingbiker.com forward slash rear wheel, if you wanna go that route. But uh, we know what it looks like up in there. We're gonna show you basically what he's working on is there's two bolts back there and they're half inch. So whatever you need to do, and it basically secures the signals. They're kind of up at the level of the signals, of course, you'll feel them up in there. And that's what Chewy's doing is you can use a half inch wrench or you can use a socket, whatever you can get up in there. And it takes just a little bit of patience. And that's what we need to do right now to get these, to get them uh, unsecured from the bike. Okay, so now we have the bolts out and it's just a tedious process, but these are the actual bolts that go through and you can see the hole in the fender there. That's where they come through right there. And then they bolt right into the back of these signals. You'll see the threaded portions that he's pointing to, but uh, look down there. Yeah, right in there. And so again, those are the bolts that go through and just takes a little bit of time. And you can see, you're gonna get really dirty, chewy. Grease monkey right now, a boy. So the next process, this is the actual new turn signals, but we're looking at that plug. That's just like the stock OEM one, of course. And uh, we're gonna get up underneath. We're gonna show you where that is. It's got two clips on the side of it. You kind of have to pry out with a screwdriver to get that plug to release. And we're gonna go up underneath the bike and work on getting that undone. All right, right side of the bike, I'm gonna give you a reference, guys, as we're just moving right up underneath. And then we're gonna look for this box where this plug goes in. and. That's the cover right there that he's pointing at. That kind of rocks back. And then uh, he's gonna point to where that plug plugs in right there, guys, and that there it is. And that's where you wanna go ahead and back that plug out. Again, he's got a screwdriver, and he's gonna start working on both of those uh, tabs on the side. All right, and he popped it loose, both those tabs with the screwdriver, and there you go. That's that stock plug that we need out. Good to go. All right, so what Chewy's working on now up underneath the fender there, is there's another, it's just a wire guide and it's a 7 16 um, uh, socket he's working with. And it's just a, it's kind of a black clamp and it's just got one bolt and it keeps the, the wire basically into the fender so it's not dangling in there. Kind of just a guide basically and that's what we're backing off. And you guys did not know but Chewy is a contortionist. All right, he got that clamp off and that's gonna free everything up and you can see the clamp coming out right there. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you wanna make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content, all depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever wanna just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabidingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, now with the whole unit out, you can see there, um, I'm gonna move up and he's got that clamp. That's just so you guys know, that's what that clamp looks like up in there with the bolt. And that's just to keep the wire tight against the fender. So we're gonna reuse that. All right, we're also gonna reuse this rubber guide that goes through the fender. So take that off and save it. All right, and what he's working on now is just getting the license plate holder off. Torx T27 drive is what he's doing there. Cause obviously we gotta reuse this. Just two bolts. There we go. License plate is free. So what Chewy's working on right now is just putting that rubber uh, guide to go through the fender. He put his clamp back on. Of course, all this stuff can be slid around to adjust it how we need it, but at least stuff is started and ready to go. All right, now he's guiding the wire through the fender, of course. 
and then he'll figure out exactly where this rubber grommet, so to speak, needs to go. You just have to adjust it back and forth. And that's all he's doing right now is just adjusting that thing, getting it right where he wants it, going through the fender so that the signals, you don't want a bunch of extra wire outside the fender, which is why he's just adjusting that just like so. You can do this before, of course, but this is easy for Chewy right here. We're just going to make sure and get the two bolts, the Torx 27 on this license plate cover and get that back on before we actually start bolting it back to the fender. And of course this has your license plate light incorporated into it, your brake light signals, all that kind of stuff. It is a Harley part that we're using. All right, and so what Chewy's doing now is just getting that bolt. We're reusing it, of course, and he's getting it through and he's getting it started there. We're just gonna get it started thread, then we're gonna get this side started and then kind of evenly we'll bolt them down from inside the fender. And if you want to know what Chewy's using up underneath that fender, he tried a lot of different tools, sockets and wrenches, but get yourself a set of ratchet wrenches. This is a half inch ratchet wrench that he was using. And he says that is the key to success on this project. All right. So what he's working on now is just that clamp, that wire clamp and getting that bolted back down. And of course we got to plug that right where we took the other one out, plug it in. All right. We're taking the old tail lights now. We got to reuse the bulbs and the lens cap. So. He's just getting a screwdriver. Just be careful. There's a little gap in there on these that you can stick the screwdriver in. Gives you a place and then they'll pop off like that. All right. Now he's just going to remove those and they're just those bulbs you push in and you quarter turn and they come out. He's using a glove so it doesn't get oils and greases all over those bulbs. Can screw them up. There we go. Let's get them in the new ones. All right, guys, I know this seems funny. Light bulb 101, but we've gotten a lot of emails over the years of some guys doing projects and more advanced stuff and then they can't get their freaking bulb and they break it and all kinds of stuff so we're just going to give you a real quick um so you see these nipples on the side of these bulbs guys there's nipples on it one would believe that that groove he's pointing at that huge groove is the way the nipple goes into line up it's not the case you'll actually break them it won't go in right and uh you'll get frustrated so off to the side here is an actual channel that he's pointing at that's what you're shooting for and he's lining that nipple up with that push in quarter turn that's how easy those are. You can get really frustrated if you don't follow those procedures there. All right, guys. And so we tested the lights here. Now, before we bolted everything down, we forgot to tell you guys uh, we didn't get that shot that we tested it before we actually bolted them in. We plugged them and tested them because you hate for something not to work and then have to take it apart. But we just tested everything. We're good to go. And uh, there you go, guys. That is installing or replacing these lights back here. Of course, this is a hardy part number. We just wanted to do gloss black ones and we'll get the lens covers back on and just be done. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.